Hello, this video outlines the TSA blood auger medium and this particular medium contains whole sheep red blood cells and it's considered to be a differential medium because although many organisms can grow they produce different appearances on the medium depending on the types of enzymes they possess. So there's a set of enzymes called hemolysins, and hemo meaning blood, lysins referring to the fact it breaks apart blood. If the organism has hemolysins, it can actually start to digest or break down the blood. If the organism lacks the hemolysins, it has a different appearance on the plate. So let's go through those different reactions. So the first one is beta hemolysis, and beta hemolysis refers to a complete breakdown of the red blood cells on the plate and you'll actually will see a clearing and often this is associated with pathogens so we're going to go ahead and lift this up because sometimes it really helps to put this by the window so you can take a look at the clearing that's on the plate there so you can see that the medium has been digested and if you look carefully you can actually see the get that a little closer you can actually see the growth and you can see where the hemolysins have been secreted into the medium and have broken down the blood plate so that's beta hemolysis so the next type of hemolysis is a partial hemolysis and we call organisms that can do this alpha hemolyzers or the reaction alpha hemolysis now alpha has a kind of metallic olive green appearance on the top of the medium. And I'm going to hold this up, see if we can get a little bit better look at that. Oh yeah. So we can kind of see that greenish color that's there. And we can also look at the bottom too. You can really see that there pretty well. And these particular organisms have some hemolysins and so they can partially break down blood. And they break that down into a substance called met hemoglobin and that's an intermediate product and it gives this greenish cast appearance so contrast that you can see here on the bottom you don't see that clearing let's compare that to what we saw with the beta where you really see that clearing there so make sure you kind of take a look at those and see if you can see those differences in the clearing the third type of hemolytic reaction is actually no hemolysis but we do give it a name called gamma hemolysis and gamma has uh, characteristically this kind of shiny white growth on the top this organism does not possess hemolysin so there is absolutely no digestion of the blood in the plate I'm going to just pick it up just to be consistent with comparison here so you can see it's not that greenish color it's that nice white color when we turn it over nope absolutely no uh, breakdown of blood in the plate so make sure that you really kind of practice looking at these and again holding them up to the light can often help or a light background here's our beta here's our alpha and don't be afraid to turn these over as you're looking at them in lab get a little closer there and then finally here's the gamma so again beta is complete lysis of the red blood, red blood cells alpha is a partial digestion or lysis of the red blood cells and then gamma is no digestion or lysis of the red blood cells and that is the TSA blood plate and its hemolytic reactions.